welcome back to our online classes and today we are going to continue with our lesson number 10 only we had seen in the last sex session that siddhi masood had come and he was competing with shivaji he was like uh, back of shivaji and we had seen at that pandarpani stream he was already with like he was going to catch shivaji till that part we have completed the story we have completed our lesson so further what had happened we will look into that so our next topic is on page number 38 and the topic is baji prabhu the brave the angry troops of siddhi were fast galloping towards the godkhem pass shivaji saw that it was impossible to reach vishalgarh before the enemy overtook them he said to baji prabhu baji this is a very critical situation the road ahead is steep and the enemy is right on our heels it is impossible to reach vishalgarh so let us turn back and face the enemy so till this i'll explain you first and then we'll read the next part okay so what they are telling is now uh, we know like uh, this troops the army of the siddhi johar were very angry so what that what had happened they were fastly moving towards shivaji they were uh, like very fast they wanted to catch shivaji right so they were back of shivaji and on like on riding on the horses maybe they the whole of the troop was behind shivaji to catch shivaji okay so they were uh, coming very fast to the gonkin pass so fastly they were moving and they were coming to the gonkin pass where shivaji was there shivaji saw this and like he told to baji prabhu see baji i feel like it is very impossible now uh, to reach vishalgarh now vishalgarh is far from this gonkin this place and vishalgarh uh, is a fort which was of shivaji maharaj only so it was difficult he wanted to reach over there if he reaches there he would be safe but now he is not reaching over there he is staying in this gonkin place and then he is understanding he is telling to baji prabhu see the enemy is behind us they are coming and they are coming to in a very like in great speed they are coming so now what to do now we only have one option left with us and that is we will face the enemy and will have a fight with them okay now this is what shivaji maharaj is telling and he is telling like baji see this is a very tough and critical situation now we can't escape from here like that way almost shivaji maharaj is telling this way okay now what is baji prabhu telling so baji prabhu understands the great agitation going on in shivaji's mind the enemy was fast approaching the pass the life of shivaji and their past swaraj was in danger now baji prabhu understood that now shivaji maharaj is like in a great tension we can say stress he was like he was not understanding what is what he should exactly do like that way so he was in a great trouble we can say and what what all thoughts are coming and going in shivaji's mind baji prabhu was understanding that so what he uh, told that like what he was saying now the enemy is coming approaching us very fast now baji prabhu also knows this and so he understood one thing the enemy is coming fast and they have a very huge army comparing to the shivaji and baji prabhu so right they didn't have that much army comparing to whom siddhi masood correct he had a big troop with him they wanted to catch shivaji for so now what did they think shiva uh, this baji prabhu knew one thing that for the establishment of swaraj shivaji maharaj is very important if shivaji maharaj is not there swaraj can't be established so it is very necessary for our idea of swaraj to succeed shivaji shivaji maharaj should be safe that baji prabhu knew very well okay so what he is saying further let us see he said maharaj you must proceed to vishalgarh take a handful of soldiers with you i shall defend this pass and will not let the army cross it i shall lay down my life in defense of this pass if i if need be if i die there will be many other bajis to take my place but no one can replace you our swaraj needs you so now what this uh, baji prabhu is telling shivaji maharaj see maharaj i think you must go to vishalgarh you don't stay over in this gonke place i will manage here now what you do they made a plan who baji prabhu that i we both will get distributed i will stand i will be in this gonkit place with some of the army and you take handful of soldiers like take some soldiers with you and then you live for vishalgarh others i will manage with other soldiers over here 
बिकॉज द रीजन इज ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू शिवाजी महाराज सी महाराज बींग युअर एक्जिस्टेंस इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर अवर स्वराज युअर लाईफ इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट मेनी अदर बाजीज लाईक मी कॅन बी देअर बट ओनली वन शिवाजी महाराज इज देअर अँड दॅट इज यू सो द आयडियोलॉजी ऑफ बी स्वराज कमिंग इन टू एक्सिस्टन्स फॉर दॅट हू इज इम्पॉर्टंट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट पर्सन वॉज शिवाजी महाराज सो बाजी प्रभू टोल्ड टू शिवाजी महाराज महाराज यू प्लीज लिव टू विशालगड आय टेक केअर ऑफ दस अँड आय स्टॉप द आर्मी ओव्हर हिअर लाईक आय हॅव अँड फाईट आय स्टॉप द एनिमी ओव्हर हिअर सो दॅट शिवाजी महाराज कॅन क्विकली गो टू वेअर विशालगड आर यू अंडरस्टँडिंग या फर्दर लेट सी वॉट हॅपन्स द एनिमी विल अटॅक इन लार्ज नंबर्स वी कॅन नॉट होल्ड आउट अगेन्स्ट दॅम विथ अवर लिमिटेड फोर्स प्लीज डू नॉट वेट गो अ हेड वी शॉल स्टॉप द एनिमी ॲट द एन्ट्रन्स टू द पास वी शॉल नॉट लेट हिम ॲडव्हान्स टिल वी नो दॅट यू हॅव रीच टू शालगड सेफली बाजी प्रभूज ब्रेव वर्ड्स अँड हिज सेन्स ऑफ लॉयल्टी ब्रॉड टिअर्स टू शिवाजीज आईज he was not most unwilling he was most unwillingly to sacrifice this gem of a man for his personal safety but he had no time to think of these things he wanted to achieve the, his ideal of swaraj he fondly embraced baji and said we shall move ahead towards vishalgarh as soon as we gain the fort guns will be fired that will be the signal of our safe arrival as soon as you hear the gun fire abon abdon the pass and follow us to the fort now what this we uh, now shivaji maharaj and baji prabhu are having a small chat we can say so they are deciding things so now uh, they are telling us this army will the army of whom um, the enemy the army the troop the enemy like siddhi masood and his army will be in great numbers right so we cannot fight with them staying over there so what they are we have a very limited force now who has a limited force shivaji maharaj has a very small army limited army is there he didn't have any huge army okay that we know very well so this baji prabhu is telling please don't wait over here maharaj you please live for where vishalgad okay i will i and some people some troops will stop the army at the pass so we shall not uh, we shall not let them come directly to you definitely we will be an obstacle for them so they will have a fight so that i will sacrifice my life for you but you please reach safely to vishalgarh that is what uh, this baji prabhu was thinking and listening to this words of baji prabhu shivaji maharaj became very emotional he got tears in his eyes like literally by seeing his loyalty his sense of uh, what we can tell maturity understanding and his sense of like he wants swaraj the ideology of swaraj should be established so uh, by seeing all this shivaji maharaj got what in his eyes tears in his eyes okay so shivaji maharaj was like like he didn't really wanted like such a gem gem means what we can say such a unique thing if such a valuable thing to be lost he, this baji prabhu was a gem for shivaji maharaj and whole of the marathas so he didn't wanted baji prabhu to lose his life or something of that way so that is what they are trying to explain us he didn't and for personal use for his personal safety of him shivaji maharaj he didn't want it at all but then things were he shivaji maharaj had no time to think and he had to leave for vishalgarh because that was the only idea and the option they had otherwise shivaji maharaj also would have to be like he they, he would be badly attacked by the enemy so are you getting it yeah so now uh, when he was leaving to vishalgarh before that what shivaji maharaj is doing fondly means in a loving and caring manner he is embracing embracing means like hugging someone like this way if i am shivaji maharaj i am hugging someone and telling baji prabhu i am explaining him see baji i am leaving for vishalgarh so as soon as i reach vishalgarh what i will do i'll uh, fire the bullets i'll make a firing from there so that you can understand that i have reached where vishalgarh safely so i i am being safe in vishalgarh that like that way so guns will be fired that is what the, that is the signal by which uh, baji prabhu can understand ki shivaji maharaj had has has reached vishalgarh so this is what had happened and uh, baji prabhu also told i'll not let the enemies come after you so this is what we have learned in this baji prabhu and the brave 
the brave so this is what we have learned in the whole paragraph so i have understood it